Welcome to the latest Trends of Education channel. In today's video, we're diving into the world of research methodologies. Understanding the methods researchers use to gather and analyze data is crucial for anyone in the field of education, social sciences, or those who simply want to know more about how research works. Let's get started. Methodology Definition Methodology refers to the systematic framework and set of principles that guide the planning, execution, and evaluation of research. It outlines the procedures, techniques, and tools used to collect and analyze data, enabling researchers to answer their research questions effectively. Purpose Methodology serves to ensure the rigor and reliability of research by providing a structured approach to gather and interpret data. It aids in the pursuit of valid and well-substantiated findings. Key Components Research design, the overarching plan that defines the type of study, data collection methods, and data analysis techniques. Data collection, procedures for gathering information, including surveys, interviews, experiments, or document analysis. Data analysis, techniques and tools employed to make sense of collected data, such as statistical analysis or qualitative coding. Ethical considerations, guidelines for maintaining research ethics and protecting the rights of participants. Why it matters. A well-defined methodology is crucial for the integrity of research, ensuring that the research process is systematic, transparent, and capable of producing credible and valuable results. 1. Experimental Research Methodology Step 1. Design the experiment. Why? Suppose a pharmaceutical company wants to test the effectiveness of a new drug on lowering cholesterol levels. They design an experiment in which one group of participants receives the new drug, while another group receives a placebo. The design allows them to control variables and study the drug's impact. Step 2. Data Collection why, blood samples are collected from both groups before and after the treatment to measure cholesterol levels. This controlled data collection ensures that any changes observed can be attributed to the drug. Step 3. Analysis and Interpretation Why, statistical analysis reveals that the group receiving the new drug experienced a significant reduction in cholesterol levels compared to the placebo group, demonstrating the drug's effectiveness. Survey or Questionnaire Methodology Step 1. Design the survey slash questionnaire Why? In a public opinion research project, researchers design a survey to assess public perceptions of a new government policy. The questions are carefully crafted to capture diverse opinions. Step 2. Data Collection Why? The survey is administered to a random sample of the population. The responses provide a comprehensive view of public sentiment on the policy. Step 3. Analysis and Interpretation Why? After analyzing the survey responses, researchers find that a majority of respondents support the policy, which can inform policy decisions and political strategies. Case Study Methodology Step 1. Select the case why, a researcher studying the impact of a specific education program selects a school as the case. The choice of the school is based on its relevance to the research question. Step 2. Data Collection Why, the researcher visits the school, conducts interviews with teachers and students, observes classroom activities, and reviews school records. This in-depth data collection allows for a comprehensive understanding of the case. Step 3. Analysis and Interpretation Why? The analysis reveals that the education program has positively influenced student performance and engagement, providing insights into the program's effectiveness. Content Analysis Methodology Step 1. Define Content Categories Why? An analysis of social media content is conducted to understand public sentiments about a specific brand. Content categories are defined to classify posts as positive, negative, or neutral. Step 2. Data Collection Why, thousands of social media posts related to the brand are collected. These posts are then categorized based on the predefined criteria. Step 3. Analysis and Interpretation 
Why? Content analysis reveals that a significant portion of the social media content is negative, which prompts the brand to take action to improve its public image. 5. Historical Research Methodology Step 1. Define Research Objectives Why? A historian investigates the causes and consequences of a historical event, such as the American Civil War. Clear research objectives guide the study. Step 2. Data Collection why? The historian collects historical documents, letters, diaries, and other primary sources from the Civil War era. These sources provide historical context and first-hand accounts. Step 3. Historical Analysis Why? The historian's analysis uncovers key political, social, and economic factors that contributed to the outbreak of the Civil War, contributing to a deeper understanding of the period. Qualitative Research Methodology Step 1. Data Collection Why? An anthropologist conducts interviews and participant observations in a remote tribal community to understand their cultural practices. Qualitative data collection allows for a deep exploration of their way of life. Step 2. Thematic Analysis Why? Thematic analysis of the collected data uncovers key themes and cultural norms within the community, providing rich insights into their traditions and practices. 7. Quantitative Research Methodology Step 1. Data Collection Why? A marketing researcher collects data on customer purchase behavior, such as the frequency of purchases, amount spent, and customer demographics. Quantitative data is essential for statistical analysis. Step 2. Statistical Analysis why? Statistical analysis reveals that customers aged 25 to 34 have the highest spending, allowing the company to target marketing efforts more effectively. 8. Mixed Methods Research Methodology Step 1. Combine Qualitative and Quantitative Methods Why? In a healthcare research project, both qualitative interviews with patients and quantitative surveys are conducted to understand the patient experience and gather statistical data on treatment outcomes. Step 2. Data Collection and Analysis Why? Data from interviews and surveys are analyzed separately, and the results are integrated to provide a comprehensive view of the patient journey and treatment effectiveness. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe to Latest Trends of Education for more educational content.